I think I'm going to call this video Fish of a Thousand Drifts. I went over three hours before I had my first hookup today. I never gave up, worked hard at it, got rewarded with a decent steelhead, and at the very end of the day, a big, big, lake, rare Lake Erie brown trout. Hey, what's up everybody? Getting out for late November steelhead trip. Getting out a little late this morning, leaving the house around 9.45. I got up at 6.30, but I couldn't decide where to go. I was either going to hit Lake Erie Tribs or head back to Lake Ontario and try Bird Dam again. Fishing's not been that good, but there's always a shot at something real big there. Decided I'm gonna go try a Lake Erie trip. At least, at least if I get cold and wet, I, it's not too far to go home. Well, what do you know? I'm starting to snow. It's gonna be a little chilly out, but I got my gloves with me. Well, my goal today is just to get one decent fish. That's all it takes to make me happy. I think I'm gonna try somewhere I haven't fished yet this year. Well, snow's better than rain, I guess. Oh, the water looks kind of low and clear, very low and clear. There's six cars here, so I've got my work cut out. I just want to more heavily pressured streams. Now I started off the day with high hopes. The water was a little low and clear, but I had light line and a small bait, so I figured I could pull a decent amount of fish out. I worked the first spot for a while, uh, various uh, color egg sacs, trout beads, even tried a pink worm, but nothing at the first spot. Now it's clear water, I should put on a smaller bobber. You know, I talked to one guy, he said nothing. But I know there's fish in here, it might be further up though. Yeah. Well, second spot I came to, a nice uh, deep pocket hole that always holds fish. Probably my third or fourth cast, I had a, a bite, fish slammed me under, and I missed it. I stayed and fished that spot for probably another hour and a half. Nothing. I tried everything. There's one. Oh. All right. Been at it for over an hour, and then I missed another bite. Probably my second drift through that last run. Move up, see if I can find this one fish that I'm looking for. Talk to a few guys, nobody's doing any good today. There's gotta be at least one fish to be had in this stretch. There's gotta be at least one fish in a slow moving hole. I moved up to one of the bigger holes on the creek. I know there's always fish in there. Started working it pretty hard, tried jigs for a while, egg sacs, beads, and uh, nothing. I started thinking to myself, maybe it's time to pack it up and uh, head to another creek, you know, somewhere we can do a little better. Now I'm just gonna stay here. I know, I know if I work it hard, I could get at least one fish. I wasn't gonna give up that easy. So I headed up, fished a few more holes. Now I'm about three hours into it, and all I had is one bite so far. Still no fish. Skunking time. Skunking. Gotta be a fish in here. Gots to be. Finally, I put a purple on. Small purple, drifted it through first drift. Wham! Fish came up. It was a nice chrome hen steelhead. About five or six. I don't know. Well, I was happy to finally get on the board, no skunking. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. 
Finally, finally a fish. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. About three hours into it, and I finally hook a fish on a purple sack. On a purple. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I knew I could get one. I knew I could get one. I make sure I land this, man. Make sure I land this one. It's been tough going. Tough going today. Beautiful, beautiful hunk of chrome. Beautiful hunk of chrome. <sighs> nice big hunk of chrome. All right. Nice big hunk of chrome. No skunking. There he goes. First hookup of the day, over three hours into it. I had one bite when I first started, and it's my first real hookup of the day. No skunking. After working all the spots for about four and a half hours, we're only one fish to show for it, two bites all day. I was gonna head back to where I parked. I was about to cross the creek, and I saw a fish porpoise. So I snuck over, and uh, there's a little pocket hole behind some boulders, maybe about four and a half five foot deep i couldn't see the bottom but i knew there was a fish there he gave himself away put on a fresh egg sack bobber slammed and uh, right away i knew it was a big fish i go to turn on my gopro camera and it's beeping i look and it says low battery so uh i probably got a few seconds of footage of fighting it but battery died i must have left it on but fish came up and it was a huge lake erie brown trout Honey, I let that fish go and I figure, well, two on the board, no skunking, time to call it. So, end of the day on a high note, even though I didn't have much footage of it, so. Fish on. Fish on. I seen a fish come up when I was walking down, I was going to leave. I seen a fish porpoise here. So I said, there's got to be some fish in there. What do you know? About 20 casts through this little pocket. My camera died. I left my camera on, but look what I just landed here. A big Lake Erie Brown. That's a big, big fish. Big jumbo Lake Erie. Look what I just landed here. My camera's dying, but I got a big, giant Lake Erie Brown. Big. No skunking until next time. Have a, have a great Thanksgiving and a holiday season. 
great holiday season. Stay safe, and uh, till next time, see ya. It'll turn out to be a decent day after all. Hey, as long as I don't get skunk, man, get at least one decent quality fish, it's a great day. And I got two. Rare, eerie brown trout. All right, man.